Hey loves, today I'm going to talk about different hair types, in particular determining the difference between type 4B and 4C hair types. Then I'll take my research and look at my own strands of hair and determine my own. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Latoya Ebony. If you're new, subscribe. I've got plenty of hair videos for you to look at. Today I am going to answer the question. Is my hair really type 4C? Huh? I am going to do a little experiment. Let's talk about hair type, shall we? This is the Andre Walker hair typing system. Who is he? This guy. Why do we know him? Because he was Oprah's hairstylist for years on our show, and he won Emmys for his work. Now back to the hair typing system. Does something seem missing? Yeah, it caught a lot of heat because there's no 3C or 4C represented. Back in the day, some of us were looking at our hair sideways like, then what is this? Side note, this video is about hair strand pattern, not texture. Check out the LOIS system for texture typing instead. Now back to the Andre Walker system. When was type 3C and 4C introduced? It seems that Naturally Curly heard the outcry and created a modified chart that included the missing hair types. Now we have 3C and 4C naturals represented. So briefly, what are the hair types? Hair type 1 is bone straight hair. Types 2A, 2B, and 3C hold the wavy hair. 3A, 3B, and 3C are the curly girls and guys. Hair types 4A, 4B, and 4C naturals have coily hair, and this is the category I want to focus on. Types 4B and 4C in particular. Type 4A hair appears to have a pattern like this. Large, visible, springy coils. This represents 4B hair. It doesn't have a curl or coil, so on the chart, many draw a tight zigzag line and refer to it as kinky. 4C strands are very tightly coiled, like teeny corkscrew curls that are almost difficult to see with the naked eye unless defined. 4B and 4C strand types are probably the most misunderstood and misrepresented hair patterns on the Andre Walker hair typing chart. So why the confusion? As the modified chart stands, when one is looking at the progression of the rest of the chart, many assume that 4B must mean that there is a curl that is slightly smaller than 4A, yet larger and more defined than 4C hair types. But remember, 4C was added on by the natural hair community, not Mr. Walker himself. So if we were going along with the natural progression of the rest of the chart, 4C should probably come before 4B. Or Andre had never seen kinky hair without a curl and 4B is a side view of a 4C curl. Perhaps one day he'll clear that up. The most common mistake is determining strand pattern by texture. For example, 4C hair can be highly defined and rather silky in appearance like this gentleman. It can also have a more cottony appearance while wet and dry. Factors like environmental humidity, products used, personal health, pattern mix, porosity, density, shine, styling technique, and hair texture can all make the same strand pattern look completely different. I highly recommend after watching this, you take a look at my video on the LOIS hair typing system to find out more about the variety of hair textures, spongy, cottony, silky, thready, and wiry. The truth is that as much research as I've done, natural hair in its fluff state can look very different. The photos chosen for 4B could very well be 4C hair fluffed out. I'd have no way of knowing unless I met the people photographed and was able to wet and examine their strand patterns in person. Side note, there's also no official charted diameter for the size of any of these coils to date. I myself have at least three different coil sizes and identify as having mainly 4C hair. There's probably no way that everyone on earth can fit into these categories as neatly as suggested, but this is a really great general guide to finding others with a similar strand pattern. Now this is my hair, stretched and dry right before a wash. In this state, it's hard to tell my curl pattern. 
So now I'll wet my hair. Now you'll notice that it takes a while for my hair to absorb the water. That's due to the products left on my hair and its porosity, but we'll get to that in part two. It tends to shrink slowly over time and you won't see the full extent of the shrinkage until it's drier. Now, if I pull my hair forward, you can see the corkscrew coils that frame my face. Now my hair is soaking wet with a little conditioner, so the coils are a lot more stretched. I've noticed my hair has a lot more hang time when it's drenched like this as it's gotten longer. When I pull the camera back, you can begin to see my spongy texture begin to take over. Two hours later, that hang time is gone and my hair has been moisturized and sealed. This is my hair slightly damp. If I don't detangle in the shower or put any product in my hair, this is what it looks like. The hair in the center of my head lacks definition and the shrinkage is real. Now let's compare my strands to the hair typing chart. Now only this area around my ears and above my sideburns has this particular texture. It's springy, it doesn't shrink as much, and it definitely has a looser coil to it. And to me, it seems to closely resemble type 4A hair. Now pulling a section of hair from the back, you'll see it's almost lacks any pattern. It's completely different from the front and most of my head is this pattern. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, strand pattern. These are strands from the back, center, and edges of my hair. Now I'm telling you, I'm a nerd, all right? I warned you. We'll, we'll get into the strand width in part two, but today we're focusing on the pattern. Now I'm going to take the strand that represents most of the hair patterns on my head and I'm going to stretch it. Now based on this hair chart, you can see how a 4C hair strand can easily look 4B if it's stretched. Now just, I mean, just look at how much it shrinks. It literally is going to coil back onto itself. Now this is a strand from my edges. Now you can see that it barely shrinks in comparison to the rest of the strands on my head. And this right here is a lovely knot. This is the reason so many type four naturals keep their hair stretched. So in conclusion, based on my hair being soaking wet, I'd say my hair is mostly 4C with 4A around the perimeter of my head, mainly above my ears and the back of my hairline with light traces of 4B. Now I wanna say that hair typing isn't everything. It's not necessarily gonna help your hair grow, but as a content creator, it's helpful in labeling my videos so that the right people find my content. I just wanna help as many type four naturals as possible, so that's why I find it helpful. Shout out to Healthy Hair with Shrinkage. Take a look at my wash day hair routine. If you haven't seen that, I also have another video on detangling that I also link down here because I do finger detangle. And I am working on a video now that's all about my hair and washing goes and actually doing it for the first time intentionally. So yeah, anyway, I hope to see you back. I love you. Mwah.